All right, welcome back. Today's gonna be a little bit different video than what we normally do. I actually had a company, a tool company, by the name of King Bolin reach out to me. I believe they're in China and they're also in the UK. And they wanted me to do a review on their battery load tester. So that's what we're gonna do today. Stay tuned. Alright, so this is the tool here. Haven't even opened it yet. I just took it out of the mail package. Looks like it's the King Bolin BM550 battery tester. And uh, we all know that a battery tester is actually a load tester. So it's going to put a load on the battery. It's basically going to test the cold cranking amps for us. It says battery analyzer, it says it'll do 6, 12, and 24 volt systems. It says it's got the over voltage protection, reverse polarity protection, state of charge and state of health test. And then once again, it says that it's compatible with all three of those types of batteries. Looks like we got four buttons on here. A little screen and um, first impressions just to be honest with you I think it's gonna be kind of nice to use this thing because the cables look fairly long and I know a lot of these kind of tools the cables are not that long you get like a foot at the most so definitely liking the fact that those cables seem pretty long right off the bat so we're gonna go over here we're gonna go ahead and get my hood open We'll just start out by doing a battery test on my van. We'll turn the headlights on for a second just to get any surface charge off of the battery. I was just driving the van not too long ago. So we'll go ahead and get this hood open here. A little difficult to do with one hand, but I think I can manage. All right. Here's my battery. Looks a little uh, old and busted, but it's working just fine. It's only a couple years old. Got a tad bit of corrosion on there I should probably clean off. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this battery tester open, and we'll see what it's got. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get this out of the package here. Go ahead and take this off. Set that down, set this to the side here, we'll get the little twisty tie off. Oh yeah, definitely like that quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I mean these cables are every bit of two, two and a half feet long. I like that quite a bit. First impressions on the uh, actual body of the unit seems fairly decent. Um, it's pretty lightweight as expected. Um, seems fairly compact, so I kind of like that too. It's not some big bulky thing that you're going to have to carry around. Um, so, I mean, honestly, this type of tool is something that wouldn't be bad for just the average person to have in their garage because, you know, testing a battery can definitely come in handy even for the average person not just a mechanic so most of these battery load testers are going to be powered by the actual battery itself so we'll go ahead and get it connected here my positives on the back side and the negative is up here so it does power on the screen it's got a nice backlit screen there i don't know if you guys can see that might have to bring you a little closer here. Let me move you over here so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So it looks like it wants us to select the battery type. So if we hit up or down, it'll select battery type. So we want to hit 12 volts. We'll hit OK. And then it's asking us to select the cold cranking amps. So we'll need to find that on the battery here. It says CCA at zero degrees Fahrenheit on this particular battery. It's going to be 800. So we're going to want to go up all the way to 800. 
I kind of like the little clickiness of the buttons too. It lets you know that you've actually pressed the button. Maybe that's just me. I'm a little old school, but I kind of like that sort of thing. I'm not a huge fan of every single thing being touch screen. So we got our uh, 800 selected, and I think it's going to do its test now. All right, so it looks like it says the battery is good, and we are at 713 out of 800. So still pretty decent there looks like the state of charge here or the voltage is 12.67 so that's going to indicate a fully charged battery let's see what else it'll tell us looks like the internal resistance is 3.64 um, i think that's mega ohms or milli ohms i'm not too sure and then the state of charge is at 98%. That's a little weird because 12.6, as far as I know, is 100%. And we were at 12.67. So that's, I wonder how it does its calculation to determine that. State of health says 80%. So apparently I've used 20% of the health of my battery so far. And then it takes us back to the CCA. Not bad. I definitely would say that overall I like this tool. It's very quick and easy to use. And it actually gives you some more information than what my other one shows. And I'll actually go ahead and pull that other one out so you guys can kind of see a comparison of what the two are like uh, relative to one another. Okay, so this is the battery load tester that I've been using for a while. It's the Syntec one that you can buy at Harbor Freight. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this one. Um, one thing I will say is that the King Bolin one doesn't seem to have quite as large of alligator clips. Um, that's probably not going to be a large issue uh, for most people, but I do kind of like on these how they open up pretty wide. Um, however, uh, comparing this one to the King Bolin, I like how the King Bolin is much slimmer profile. It's not as tall. It's just more compact, more lightweight. This one has a little hanger thing on it, but I mean, I can't imagine that you would ever use that. It also has a hard, brittle rubber case that will fall apart eventually, like mine has. Um, this one, you actually have to turn it on. Uh, it doesn't come on automatically, like the uh, King Bolin. So we'll go ahead and select the 800. One thing I like about this is that it goes up by whatever amount you select. You can do the tens place, the ones place, you know. Um, and, you know, you can go up by hundreds, makes it a little faster. Then it gets straight into the test here. It looks like R's, not T's. So this is saying about the same resistance. And 2.72. Um, and then shows 802 CCA. So I think they're both uh, pretty close as far as accuracy. They're not too far apart from one another. I kind of did expect there to be a little bit of difference between the two. But um, that's just the one that I've been using and um, how it compares with the King Bolin. So I decided to go ahead and test this old Toyota Prius battery that I have in my garage as well. I know this battery is good, so this state of health sounds right. It's showing out of 325 cold cranking amps, we got 443. And the battery's at 12.2, it's a little bit discharged. We got 5.85 on the resistance, state of charge 45%. So it is actually able to pick up a lower state of charge on these batteries and um, convert that to a percentage for us. 
All right, so my final thoughts on the King Bolin battery tester. I think overall it's a pretty excellent tool for what it is. I believe the Syntec one that I got at Harbor Freight cost me about 50 bucks, and so I believe this one is sold for roughly 20 or $30 cheaper than that, and it does almost the exact same thing. So I would definitely consider it a good pickup. The only downside that I really saw to it is the alligator clips. They don't seem to open quite as far as I would like them to, but that's just a very minor improvement that could easily be made over time. So overall, I would give this tool a thumbs up. If you're interested in picking up the King Bolin B550, I believe you can check it out on uh, Google and you should be able to find it there. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate King Bolin for uh, reaching out to me to review their tool. It means we're getting famous, guys. We're getting up there. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.